What do you call this? Urchin. Urchins. But without spikes. You sure it's dead now? Huh? You see anything in it. This week on Life on Jupiter, we sort out our courtesy flags before striking trouble trying to check out of Grenada. But eventually we get underway to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I'm Princess and I'm a lounge singer. I'm Jamie and I fly aeroplanes. We decided to take a year off and go sailing. But thanks to COVID, now we spend our life on Jupiter. Welcome aboard and join us on our circumnavigation. to check out of Grenada. I'm gonna go to St. Vincent Grenadines. Excited to see a new place. New country. It's probably just the same really. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a little. After waiting an hour, we thought we'd try the ferry terminal to see if we could check out there. So, we can't check out. There's no customs or immigration here. They're supposed to be here today, but they're not. This is island time. <laughs> so, we'll try go to the police station which is the other side of the island. We have to motor for an hour or maybe we'll sail a little bit and then maybe we could check out because we want to leave first thing in the morning. Ah oh well. That one's okay. Let me just try to find. What are you doing? Boats are a constant full-time job of maintenance. It doesn't matter if it's a new boat or old boat. Um, my water system is always, not always, but it's often got a leak somewhere. Uh, come and have a look down here. You can see that it's, uh, it's basically just standard hosing and in places I've even just got garden hose because I couldn't get chemical hose and hose clamps little plastic T fittings, elbows, etc. And it only takes one or two drips and the pressure system like that automatically runs because it's losing pressure. Even if it's just one or two drips, it, it's losing pressure. And trying to hunt down those drips is uh, frustrating. But the way I try and use it if anyone has better techniques please tell me and my water system is not the neatest it does need some cleaning up and a bit more efficient in the routing etc but anyway I get paper towel what happens with paper towel when it gets wet it really swells and it changes shape and color so what I do double it up perhaps and then just tear it into oh. <laughs> start again fold it up. I've tried to dry everything. Everything is as dry as I can get it right now. And then under every suspect area, like a join, like this one has three joins here. I'll put paper towel underneath and then just leave it for a while. Come back and see if there's a dot. And show you what it does if it was to get wet. And I use the torch to see, see precisely, but you can see definitely 
Oop, maybe it's too bright for you. But you can see definitely if there's a drip or no drip. And that's what you're doing is just chasing drips. Uh, anyway, I'm still working on this one. I'll get back to you and let you know how it goes. So tomorrow we're going to check out of Grenada. And we're going to go to St. Vincent. So this is for the So we have lots of flags, we have hundreds and hundreds of flags, which, what is that? Anyway, Antigua. Uh, this is what we need, St. Yeah. Vincent and the Grenadines. And I've just got to put a, a string through so that we can tie. Because these flags are not strong enough along here. Put all the load on this nylon cord, then they will last a long time. And they'll last at least a few months. Our Grenada flag's still going, but it's only about half left now. After three months. It's only two and a half, but yeah. Mm. Quarantine flag. Yep. Whoop. I'd have to hold it. <laughs> Other ones we're likely to use. Panama, definitely. Mm -hmm. And Dominica and Antigua Barbuda. USA? Oh, mm -hmm. Unlikely. Mm, Bahamas. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's also. That's where we're gonna get my visa. I don't know if they will give visas. They're not giving visas at the moment. When? When will this world stop being stupid? I don't know. I'm just watching him how to make. or how to sew flags because. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Yes, only a real man can operate heavy machinery like this. Well, I made this cover, a cushion cover, before. Mm try check out again Sunday pretty unlikely they're gonna be there even though the office hours say they are they weren't there yesterday Saturday so uh, small chance we can go today but let's try Thank you. 
Hopefully they're open today. Mm. <laughs> We're so tired. Lucky it's not that hot today. Yesterday yeah. was so hot. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Nine a.m. till two p.m. <sighs> Every day. Yeah. I wish they have numbers to contact, you know. Oh, that would mean he'd have to come out. He doesn't want that. <laughs> it's inconvenient for us. Totally. I'm sure you can guess that we had to wait until Monday morning. Goodbye, Kariku. Goodbye, Grenada. We're leaving right now to St. Vincent. I hope the water is just as pretty up there. It's only a few miles from Kariku north to the Grenadines, but due to COVID, we had to sail 45 miles north to St. Vincent to clear in. After that, we would be free to explore the Grenadines. sun is just setting and it's not illegal because we're not going ashore but yeah so in the, tomorrow we will go to St. Vincent to Kingstown where we have to check in um, take a quarantine boy that uh, that's a mooring <laughs> it's not a quarantine boy and um, the next day we'll have our PCR test and then maybe a day later they will tell us we're free to go so then we can go check in but yeah it looks nice so far this is lovely so we left in Bequia no we left Bequia we left <laughs> we left Bequia Bequia we left Bekia early in the morning and we're here in, uh, in the quarantine average. St. Vincent. St. Vincent. And now we're going to find a mooring and do the PCR test in about two hours time. Hopefully it all works out. We're gonna do our PCR test today and we'll eat and we're gonna get the results tomorrow. Isn't it? Yeah, that's the plan. We're just waiting for a guy called Jimmy to come and tell us which mooring to take, quarantine mooring. And then an hour and a half later they'll come get us for a PCR test. Jupiter 2, go ahead Jimmy. Morning, the stars coming out to put you in the morning now, okay? We see you. Can you just reverse a little bit? You're gonna hook in the morning right there. Yeah, sure. We're drifting, but uh, we won't get caught on anything. Waiting for you guys. You have a dinghy? Yeah. You use it, use it and where do we go? Right there. Okay. You see the white boat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Okay. So testing is just there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, right below. Great. And we should bring our paperwork? Everything. Okay. All right. 
Thank you. Is it okay? Yeah. Head back. Oh, you can just open your mouth, it's easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> How do you feel, Mavi? I feel very clear in the head. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. The cotton or the cotton buds is still in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was quick. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Join us next week to find out if we have COVID or if we're allowed to explore the beautiful islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines.